Welcome. In this session, we'll show you how to make changes in Cabinet Sense that will allow you to process your dados much more efficiently in your chosen CAM package. Up until version 7, Cabinet Sense would only generate rectangles when handling dados. This would force you to use a pocket type strategy to clear out all of your grooves and thinning of your dado tongues. Let's take a look. In this example, I have a front and back stretcher. The front stretcher is using a blind dado. The back stretcher will use a full dado. And then I have two inside dados as well, one being a full dado and the other one being a blind dado. Let's take a look at how we've defined them in our machining database. So a blind dado will have stops, shoulder stops of 25 millimeter on each side. The tongue will be mortised, so half the material will be machined away. And then we have some play that we're going to allocate to our groove. So give us a little bit of wiggle room so it's not an exactly tight fit. We'll go ahead and export this. and take a look at what was generated. Go to our export file, and we'll take a look at the left end. So for our blind dado, I'm using 16 millimeter thick material. So our blind dado is 8.4 millimeters wide. Um, and that is half the thickness of the material plus the little bit of wiggle room or play that we wanted to uh, give of 0.2 millimeters on each side. And the same for the interior blind dado. Now the full dado has a width of 16.4 millimeters. And again, that is the thickness of the material, 16, plus the 0.2 millimeter wiggle room on each side. If we look at the back dado, in this case it turns out to be a rabbit, uh, our thickness of the material now, if you look down in the right hand corner, is 17.4 millimeters. And that equates to the thickness of the material plus another millimeter to extend past the edge so we clean it all out plus the 0.2 millimeters on each side. So what we'd like to do is start changing this and use a line strategy rather than having to run around the inside of the pocket to clean out your grooves. If we look at the tongue, it's the same thing. We there's the part that we want to cut out. And there's our pocket that we would use to thin the material away. We'll just move this to the side. And go start making some changes. First thing we want to do is go back to our machining database. And in the pocket clearing tool widths, I am saying that I've got a quarter inch tool and a 19 millimeter uh, width or diameter tool. These don't necessarily have to be exact measurements. They could be sharpened bits and maybe they're 0.2495. They would still work to run around the inside of a pocket and clean it out properly. Uh, but if you are to tell cabinet sense that these in fact are exact measurements, now we can start using these and changing our rectangles to lines where appropriate. So just by making that one change, we'll go back, export our model, and take a look at what was now generated. There's our most recent export pick it up, take a look at the left end, and we've now got 
one line. And clicking on the line, looking down at the bottom right hand corner, it is using a 19 millimeter diameter tool to clear this out. And again, remember we've got 16 millimeter thick material plus our 0.2 millimeter uh, wiggle room. So with this as a 19 millimeter bit running down the center, then if I take the measurement, 6.7 millimeters, let me bring up my calculator, and 19 millimeters divided by 2 plus the 6.7 means the very outside edge of that 19 millimeter diameter bit is going to be end up 16.2 millimeters into our uh, material from the edge, which is exactly where this guy will be. If I take another measurement, sixteen point two. Okay, so I couldn't do handle this one. This one's still eight point four millimeters wide. There was no bit that could run inside that as a line, and neither for any of these. Let's take a look at what happened to our tongue. Okay, so it has changed as well. Let's take a look to see what bit it was using. It's now down on the bottom right hand side. It's a quarter inch tool. And again, it's not centered right in the middle of our dado tongue. So if I take the measure, to find how far it is off to the edge, it's 3.175. And a quarter inch tool, divided by two is that. So we're using a quarter inch tool positioned far enough away from the edge will clear off our tongue nicely. Let's go back and make one more change. Well, first let's take a look at the problem. We could add another tool being eight millimeters and you know remove the wiggle room and we're down to an eight millimeter bit and that will clear off this groove and it would clear off that groove, it still wouldn't handle this. Um, but again, it's half, the, this is rectangle is half the thickness of the material. So if I start using 19 millimeter thick material or three quarter inch or five eighths or, or something that's slightly under 16 millimeter, again, we'd have to have bits that would be exactly half of the material we're using. So we've made a change in cabinet sense and you'll find it in the project component, where you can now set the width of your blind mortises. For, so for a blind dado, I can say I want my width to be a quarter inch. Let's just go back and regenerate this. So now what's going to happen is instead of eight millimeters, it's going to be 0.25 millimeters plus we still have the wiggle room to deal with. So it would be if we had a bit that was 0.25 plus 0.4 millimeters, it would still run down the line. But we've changed cabinet sense to make concessions. And let's show you what, what's going on. We've now got lines for our dados, for our blind dados, and it is using our quarter inch tool. Um, but our tongue then would be very tight. There would be no wiggle room left um, in this scenario. But what we've done is thin the tongue more by the amount of that 0.4 millimeters. So if we take a look here, down at the bottom, well, not to pop over to the layers, 
is this one right here. We have, we're using a quarter inch tool and we're gonna go down 10.05 millimeters. So again, going back to our calculator, whoops, let's start over, 16 millimeters less 10.05 gives us a remaining area of 5.95, which is plus 0.4, and that is our quarter inch. So it's actually thinned the tongue out to be 0.4 millimeters less than the quarter inch thickness that will be generated for the groove. And so anytime that it can use a line, it will do it that way. It will thin the tongue out appropriately. But for all other scenarios, we'll revert back to a pocket strategy. That concludes this episode. I hope it was informative. Thank you very much for watching.